The needs of borrowers at the lower end of the income spectrum often go beyond simple credit, but most MFIs only offer credit products. In 2016, Grameen Foundation and Propellerfish set out to design a set of services that address the needs of borrowers beyond their need to borrow. We based our project in Lucknow and engaged a mix of rural and urban borrowers across a mix of villages and neighborhoods in town. We spoke to 69 women, husbands and sons at their center meetings, in their homes, at their places of business and out in the community for an up-close perspective on how they go about managing their lives and their futures. Here's what we learned. First of all, our urban and rural borrowers have some obvious differences. Urban borrowers were more financially literate and empowered when it came to what it takes to move their families forward. They had daughters and sons in higher education with clear plans for jobs as doctors and white collar employees. <laughs> <laughs> Urban women had fewer children, were more involved in the family business, and were in charge of a small household budget. Their husbands owned businesses and were overall more sophisticated and socially progressive than their rural counterparts. Rural men were in charge of the household finances, but lacked the financial literacy to manage finances effectively. This lack of information made them more vulnerable to scams, but even more likely to feel cheated by products that they misunderstood. A lack of information and education makes borrowers less confident about engaging with financial products. They wanted larger loans and freedom from regular center meetings, but nobody had the documentation they needed in order to borrow from banks. Financial decisions are in the hands of the men. While women take out the loans and occasionally serve as minor influencers, husbands and sometimes the older sons make key decisions around financial services at home. People shared common financial goals. Everyone we met was trying to save for either a child's education or a wedding. But good intentions around savings are usually foiled by life events such as medical emergencies. We decided the most useful non-credit products would be the ones that help people save more effectively. These things are all important, but the biggest opportunity to focus on is their biggest pain point. Managing the threats that foil their savings ambition every time they set out to save. Family medical emergencies are the biggest culprit, costing families up to 30,000 rupees. The most common events that wipe out savings are very insurable. However, the concept of insurance to the people we met was very abstract. The team is currently working on a hybrid savings and insurance model that mirrors our users' existing thinking about how risk is managed. Our challenge came to focus on how we redesign insurance to make it feel as tangible as a savings product. Because it's only by mirroring that mental model that we'll be able to make an insurance product relevant to them. If we can help protect people's savings from life events, we can help customers take a more proactive and empowered approach to planning their futures.